Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I'm going to go through some strategies on deleting unwanted blank pages in Word 2013. So you can see that I have a document here and if I scroll down, I have actually two blank pages and then my fourth page has text on it. So the most basic solution is to go to your unwanted blank page. Let me zoom out a little bit. So here's my last blank page. I'm going to click as close to the bottom right as I can. Wherever my cursor lands is the very end of my unwanted blank page, and I will simply press my backspace button until I get rid of the pages. You can see that worked. So if that simple solution does it for you, awesome. Now it's definitely possible that that didn't work. So another solution is to go to your view tab, select navigation pane, and you can see the pages that you have that are blank. In my case, it's two and three. So I can select the page and press my delete key, delete, press delete again, until my blank pages go away. All right, if you've still got a blank page, another possibility is to go to your page layout tab, click margins, and then select custom margins. Click the layout tab, and in the drop down menu next to section start, select new page and click OK. Now, as you can see, that didn't do anything to my blank pages. So one really important tool for figuring out why your pages are blank is selecting this show hide paragraph marks because that will show you exactly what's on your pages that may not actually be blank. So what that does for me here is show me that I have a page break. Let me close out of my navigation. I have a page break after my text here. And on my first supposedly blank page, I have another page break. And on my last supposedly blank page, I have some spaces and a page break. So what I can do when I have my paragraph symbols showing is select everything, click delete, select my page break, click delete. And I can even select my page break here at the end of my text, click delete. Now I don't have any blank pages. As you can see, I just have one page. Now I wasn't able to see those page breaks when I didn't have my paragraph symbols showing. All right, now let's say that those options didn't actually help with my deleting a blank page because I have a table at the end of my document or at the end of the section before the blank page. There's a function in Word to automatically insert a paragraph after a table and that can result in a blank page. So you can't actually delete the inserted paragraph, but you can make it extra, extra small so it doesn't cause a new page to be displayed. What you'll do is with the paragraph marks turned on like I have here, select that last paragraph and just go change the font size to size one. Click enter. And now your paragraph is teeny tiny, so hopefully it deletes that blank page. If that didn't work, you can change the spacing around the paragraph. Select the paragraph symbol, pop out your paragraph dialog box here. On the indents and spacing tab, change this spacing before and after to zero. Change your line spacing to single and click OK. And if those two options for hiding the paragraph after the table didn't work, you can actually hide the paragraph. With the symbol selected, you'll launch the font dialog box, pop it out here, and from this font tab, select hidden and click OK. And that last resort should hopefully work for you. So we went through a bunch of troubleshooting steps that you can go through if you have a blank page. And here's two more harmonious Word documents in the future. For more tips and tricks like this one, please check back with 365ninja.com.